do you know that the average human gets 60 to 80,000 thoughts per day? And of those, 80% are negative. I know this is insane. In this video, I'll walk you through five basic steps to positive thinking. If you're new to this channel, kindly consider subscribing and click like. So this video is is really basic nothing nothing scientific and all that i will start with step number five start your day with positive affirmations see the way you start your day can affect how you spend your day i hope you you know that if you start your day with negative and toxic energy it affects all other activities that you do in that day and guess what you leave that day feeling so unfulfilled and so exhausted but when you do when you when you when you practice positivity in the day when you start your day with positive affirmations like for example i'm gonna kill that test i'm gonna make this day great or oh, today's gonna be a great day you shift your mind from a negative one to a more positive one and you wouldn't even imagine how this can affect your activities and how you interact with other people so start your day positive and you, your day will go positive and your day will end positive it's just so simple Step number four, focus on the present. See, worrying about the future wouldn't make today any better. And worrying about the past wouldn't make today any peaceful either. So you have to try to, to, be, to be more present on now. As I understand sometimes we have these thoughts on what could go wrong. What if I feel that test? What if I don't do well in the interview? What if he doesn't like me? What, is, what if, what if, what if, what if? We keep thinking about all the negative things that could go wrong. Instead of, instead of trying to, to focus on the things that could go right. And sometimes we also spend too much time thinking about the past. Things that are, that, the mistakes that we've done. And all of the things that could have gone right. But you, you can go back to yesterday and fix the things that have gone wrong. But you can always start today and make things go well. And also end well. So when you are more present, it tends to affect your activities. Like when you are more engaged and more conscious of your activities. You tend to be more productive and you're less distracted, which increases productivity and efficiency. So learn to be more focused on now and let the future stay in the future and the past and the past. Step number three, practice gratitude. See, when you're so thankful, when, you, when you're thankful of the things that you have, when you're appreciative of the blessings, and the things that are around you, the people that you have, your family, your work, even yourself, you give less room for other things. You give, you give less room for negativity because you're so busy and you're so in touch with all the blessings around you that you don't have time. You don't have time for all of the negativity and all the toxicity around you. So be more thankful and you will see that you have less energy for negative things and negative thoughts. Step number two is to Realize that things happen for a reason. Sometimes things don't go as we plan. Sometimes things can, can go wrong. I mean, things happen. But when you realize that things happen for a reason, it, it, it allows you to, to focus on the lessons from those, from those problems and those trials than focusing on all of the negativity and all of the hardship that you're going through. So things happen for a reason. And some, somehow, even if you can't figure it out at that point in time, just give yourself time and you will, you, you will figure things out and things will work out at some point. Things will surely work out. So, things happen for a reason. Even if you don't realize it, it does. Step number one, which I believe is one of the most important, is transform negative self-talk to a more positive one. Positive self-talk is so, so important. You can't imagine how important it is. I believe that positive self-talk is one of the best self-care practices that you can do. See, we all have negative thoughts. 80% of our thoughts are negative. But w when you catch yourself having negative thoughts, stop and replace those, those thoughts with more positive ones. Like for example, when you say I'm bad at maths, you can replace it with I am bad at maths, but with time, with practice, I can do better. Then you have changed your whole approach 
the maths, you change your, whole, your entire mindset towards that, towards math and, and any other practice that you think you can do. Positive self-talk can change the way you behave, your approach towards a lot of things. So I'll give you a shortcut. It's three R's. Recognize, remove, and replace. Recognize that you have negative thoughts. Remove those negative thoughts and replace them with positive ones. And I bet after you do those things, just let me know how it goes. I will surely be waiting. Just like many other things, negative thinking can become a habit. You can't imagine how destructive it can be. It can lead to low self-esteem, self-pity, it can leave even fear. It can affect the way you interact with other people and your behavior and approach towards many aspects of your life. See, you have full control over your thoughts. When you don't control your mind, your mind will surely control you. And you can imagine how powerful your thoughts can be. These are one of the few of the many steps that you can take to a more positive thinking. If you like this video, kindly click thumbs up and I would like to know what is working out for you. Kindly comment on this video on your approach to, to a more positive thinking. And let's work together you know, to create more positivity. So stay tuned on Yasin's inspiration.